I sometimes wonder if BBC News um, realise how bad the user experience of their um, of their website is. Like, like, why why is that the second link when I try to give feedback? And I just tried filling in this form. Uh, foo bar. Da, 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 da. And when I um, and when I submit it, that also fails. Um, so the two sort of links that, that that Google have found for giving feedback to BBC News just doesn't work. It's astonishing, absolutely astonishing. Um, furthermore, um, I'm not the only one who sees this every day living uh, in Singapore and abroad, but there's this huge bunch of JavaScript um, crud that gets loaded before BBC News does. I mean, what on earth are the developers of BBC News thinking? Um, another issue with the BBC News website is the videos. This huge um, related video and audio um, dialogue obscures more than sort of half the video when you start playing back video. So you have to sort of claw away for the still arrow to minimize it so you can watch the video. Absolutely astonishing how you can do that. Um, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm a British citizen living abroad and you know the bbc news is a big thing to me and i want i want other people to read it i think it's very important for british influence but then the bbc news has this website experience which is just horrible um furthermore if you ever travel to a country where internet is rather bad like the philippines i was out in the philippines and i was getting um served a mercedes video before bbc news um I mean, how how on earth are people supposed to watch, uh, read the news when when uh, the BBC News website is forcing a Mercedes video beforehand? I mean, you know, some people only have a few megabytes of data to be to use. Anyway, I really, really hope that BBC News can listen to me and take my feedback and actually improve their website. Please, it is awful right now.